Tonight is uh, May the 4th, 2014. This is a follow-up video to the one I made last night where we determined uh, turns ratio of a transformer by inserting low voltage into the primary and measuring it on the secondary and uh, then determining impedance ratio assuming we have certain loads on the secondary what would be the reflected impedance back into the primary and as is to be expected advanced viewers ask uh, questions like can you determine the actual impedance by using a, uh, a nice impedance bridge and the answer is yes so what I'm using tonight is an old um, General Radio 1650A impedance bridge and it does a beautiful job I think you'll like this you actually get a reading okay this transformer right here that I'm using I'll zoom in so you can see the details in a minute this is that same transformer I used last night that would work uh, nicely with a pair of uh, push-pull 6v6's into a uh, 4 ohm load okay what I have as the load is a pair of Radio Shack non-inductive 8 ohm resistors parallel so I got 4 ohms so there's our secondary load you do have to load it and then the uh, the primary is right here on the output of the bridge I'm going to switch it back to one okay what we determined last night is that the voltage ratio and the impedance ratio of this would end up giving us a primary impedance of about eight kilo ohms and since I have it on one times K one kilo times the reading here if we turn this thing over to what's the null right here we don't get a perfect null so it's one of the things that I've learned about this really nice old uh, General Radio's bridge is that uh, you need to know pretty much the range that you're looking for otherwise it's it, it can be uh, very time-consuming okay now watch as I approach whatever number I'm approaching watch to null right here as it nulls right there and as we rock back and forth and then we read this number right here let's zoom in just a little bit at the null and the number that's about 8,500 about 8.5k watching the needle again as, as it nulls about 8500 ohms somewhere in that in that range which is what we experienced and expected from last night now if we change the load here from 4 ohms this is two 8 ohm resistors parallel give the camera time to focus I hope it can if we change this to one 8 ohm resistor see a peg there we expected the uh, primary impedance to be around 16k so now we've got this resistor on there let's back out again okay now we've got 8 ohms we would expect the primary impedance to be about twice that so we've got to raise our range here so we go to times 10 we expect it to be about 16k so that would be 1.6 on this dial so if we go the other direction Watch our, watching our null when we we don't have to look at this we watch this and we get a null right there you can increase the range on this by the the sensitivity knob right here we can increase the sensitivity and set it wherever we want but what we want to do is set it high enough and low enough that we can actually detect a nice null and the null occurs oh darn it knocking things loose no I'm not okay we're okay sorry the null occurs nicely right about right there and in this case let's increase it a little bit more so we maybe get a little bit better null get our best null about right there which if we zoom in we're going to see is around 
15, uh, let's see, it would be 1520 ohms. Somewhere around the 16K mark. That's exactly what we got last time. When I say exactly, nothing is exact. And if you remember, even looking at the uh, RCA2 manuals, they uh, had approximately uh, in parentheses in there. So there we go. We get the same kind of numbers with our impedance bridge as we do from doing our turns ratio and just doing the simple math. So there you go. Now we have an impedance bridge um, verification of it and it actually gives us a readout of, of what the uh, primary impedance is depending on what the secondary load is. So I hope this helps.